Okay, this is velocity in two dimensions. What that means is we're going to have um, we're going to have a, let's say a boat, and this will be a river. Say the boat is traveling across the river at three meters per second, and we'll also say that at a perfect right angle, the creek will be pushing the boat at 1.5 meters per second this way. So this is what two dimensions means. We've got up and down motion and we've got side to side motion. So what's going to happen is as the boat is crossing it's also going to be pushed sideways and the end result will be this kind of motion. And I want to know is that when it hits the other side what will this displacement be? the difference between the starting and the final position. And here's the kind of roadmap. If we review back to the displacement, go on. We'll remember that there are two components. We need to know the total distance in the y direction, so remember on a graph this is the y-axis and this is the x versus the total distance traveled in the x-direction. Once we find those two, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for displacement. There's a whole video on the Pythagorean theorem if you want to review it. It's under the math help section. So, let's solve for these. Here's our goal. I know to solve for dy, that means I'm going to use my velocity in the y, the up and down velocity, times time in the y direction. To solve for the x motion, I need to use my velocity in the x, times my time in the x. So the first one should be pretty easy. Well, I need to find, well, I know what these two are. I know that the distance is 21 meters, and the velocity is 3 meters per second. So to solve for time, divide by 3. Time in the y equals 7 seconds. Now here's the hitch. However long it's crossing the water, is the exact same amount of time that it's drifting. In other words, these two are equal. However long it took to cross is however long it took to drift. So now I can write out my formula for the distance in the y equals, what's my velocity in the y? 1.5 times, what's my time in the y? seven seconds. So I've got this distance equals 10.5 meters and then I've got this distance equals 21 meters and now we can solve for the displacement. We have 21 10.5 so 21 squared plus 10.5 squared equals c squared. 21 squared equals 441 plus 10.5 squared equals 110.25 plus 441 equals that. And now I've got c squared and I've got to undo it. So I'll square root everything, these two added up, which is this, square rooted, 23.4 meters. So the displacement is 23.4 meters. Now let's see you try one. Clear the writing. All right, so let's say this is now 10 meters. This is going 5 meters per second 
and let's say the river is pushing it at 2 meters per second. Find the displacement. So remember, we need to find distance in the y, and you need to find distance in the x, and solve for displacement. Try it on your own. Go look back at the setup you should have copied down. Here's the setup. Here's your formula. Distance equals velocity times time. Use this formula for both of the x ones. Distance in the y equals velocity in the y times time in the y. Distance in the x equals velocity in the x times time in the x. Where do you start? Well, which one do you know the most? Let's see. I know velocity in the y equals 5. Oh, should change the color, shouldn't I? Velocity in the y is 5. E distance in the y is 10. And then what do I know down here? All I know is velocity in the x equals 2. I don't know these two, so I have to start here. So if you divide by 5, time equals 2 seconds. And these two are the same. So now this time is also 2 seconds. 2 times 2 is 4 meters. So we went in a circle. It starts with these two formulas. This is 4, and this is 10. Solve for displacement. 10 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. 100 plus 16 equals c squared. Square root. What's the square root of this guy? 116, because these two are added up, square rooted, 10.7 meters. Okay, there's going to be practice for all three tests on the website for you guys to prepare for your quiz. Um, make sure you go back and try these, and try these with the video right there, so that you can um, Make sure you can do this for the task because this will be on your grade. Good luck.